I'm looking to convert a tub like this into a mushroom fruiting chamber. So I need to control the climate inside it, the temperature and humidity. This is my current setup. It goes into a, a grow tent. It's completely over-engineered. Uses a computer power supply, um, which delivers up to 12 volts. But then I'm using this little thing here to raise the voltage up to 24 volts to power this ultrasonic humidifier. Um, this thing runs on 24 volts at one amp, so it's 24 watts of power, quite high powered. It's got to lift a whole column of air above it um, to cause the water vapor. I found this thing on eBay. This floats a on the water and just runs on a USB cable. So this runs at 500 milliamps at five volts. So it's basically, you know, uses 10 times less power than, than the other one. And I thought it could be quite a neat solution with a little Raspberry Pi. You could have a low power climate control system so I thought I'd try it out and see if it makes enough water vapor to suitably humidify a box like this that means basically getting the humidity up to about 90% so this video is just me testing that out so I'm using a Raspberry Pi Zero a breadboard OLED screen and a temperature and humidity sensor. This is an HTU21D. I got this off AliExpress. I bought 10 of them. I definitely don't recommend it. I've been through a lot of them and uh, they they give up once they get a bit hu like too humid. Um, as you can see it's got several serial numbers on it. It's a bit confusing. I was trying to buy the HDC 1080 which is what it says at the bottom but this doesn't even have an HDC 1080 chip on it it's like it's as if they put these uh, numbers on to get better search results or something which is cheeky and should be discouraged so I'm just going to connect the components up now both the OLED and the temperature sensor use the same um, bus on the on the Raspberry Pi it's called the I2C bus which means I'm using basically the same four connections for both of them which is um, two power cables and two data cables what's the LED done now the sensor Right, so that's both components connected. We'll give the Raspberry Pi some power. And then from my computer, I can SSH to it. The Raspberry Pi is already set up so it knows to connect to the Wi-Fi network. So I can SSH to it. If I can remember my password. Right, so now I'm on the Raspberry Pi. I can run I2C detect, which will which will look at the I2C bus and spot any devices that are connected to it. It's I2C detect and then one, which means bus one. So here you can see there's two different things connected to it, three at uh, three C and forty. Those are locations that are pre-configured on the device. So if you have multiple devices, like for example, if I wanted to connect multiple sensors of the same sensor on the I2C bus, it wouldn't actually work because they're both sharing the same location and you can't actually change that. So yeah, just a word of warning. If you've got a Raspberry Pi Zero, you've only got one I2C bus. so. 
So I've already written some code to interface with these two devices. So uh, rather than write it again from scratch, I'm just going to copy a program that I already use for monitoring fruiting in my other um, setup. And then I'll just modify that script. All I need this to do really is the first bit here displays a logo on the screen. So I'll leave that in. Um, and then it just updates every say five seconds to um, update the the humidity and the temperature on the screen so simple that's all it needs to do okay so let's run that and see if it works Yep, there's the logo and yeah, there's the humidity and temperature reading. Font's a bit small, so I'll tweak that. So I'll make a couple of little tweaks to the setup and then I'll run the test. So here we are ready to go put the little donut humidifier into the box and I've got the sensor just tucked inside the lid as well on the opposite side of the box and I've just plugged in the USB to give it some power it's not doing anything at the moment oh there it goes it's kicking out some water vapor a bit of luck the humidity will start going up now excuse the bad camera work so look, yeah, we're up to 82% humidity already. Um, I think, judging by this, it's kind of clear to see that this is going to have no problem making enough humidity for a little box like this. Let me know below if you have any comments on this and if you'd like to see updates on how I get on with it. Cheers.